Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that wherever you are, you're being safe and well. Now today I want to talk to you about something that has been on my heart since this morning. And I feel it's something God put in my heart to talk to you about. So here I am. I want to talk to you about, you know, there might be times in your life when you've done something terrible that you feel like God could not possibly forgive you. You might even be embarrassed or ashamed to go before Christ and ask for forgiveness. But I want you to know that no matter what terrible things you have done in life, God will always forgive you. All you have to do is go before him with a humble heart, open yourself up to him, and ask him to forgive you. And you don't have to use big, fancy words or anything like that. All you have to do is go to your little quiet corner, wherever that happens to be, and open up and ask him to forgive you. And he will do just that. Now, I want to talk to you about this Bible passage that happens to be one of my favorite from the Bible. It's Luke 23, 42. And that's where Jesus Christ is up on the cross. There's two criminals uh, next to him. And what are these criminals doing? They are mocking Jesus because I'm sure they knew who he was. They're mocking him, telling him things like, well, if you really are who you say you are, why don't you get yourself down and get us down too? And they're there. We don't know what they did to warrant that kind of punishment because in those times, crucifixion was a form of punishment that was given to only the most uh, terrible crimes, okay? So this wasn't like just you stealing an apple from a fruit cart and you got that punishment. So we don't know what these criminals did to warrant that kind of uh, punishment, but they were there hanging next to Jesus Christ. And what happened with one of them? This is so beautiful. One of them, in his last moments, before his eyes closed for good here on earth, his eyes were open. And he finally saw who Jesus Christ really was, right? And what did he do? He didn't ask for forgiveness. If you read that Bible passage, you'll see that criminal did not ask Jesus Christ for forgiveness. Maybe he felt he wasn't worthy of being forgiven, right? But what did he do? He said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Ooh, I love that. It's like the scales came off his eyes and he finally saw Jesus as who he really was, the Messiah. And he said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Not forgive me. Because again, maybe he didn't feel he was worthy of being forgiven. But just a simple, remember me. Ooh, I love that. And what did Jesus Christ do? Listen, in his moment of agony, Jesus is up there suffering the same pain and agony as they 
all were. And Jesus Christ, even though he was up there hanging on the cross in horrendous agony, what did my Jesus Christ do? He said, from this day forward, you will be with me in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Again, this criminal, we don't know what he did to get that kind of punishment. So he might have lived a life of crime. But in that moment, before his last breath, his eyes were opened. And he said, remember me. I love that. And Jesus Christ did not shake his finger at the criminal and say, yeah, but look at all the terrible things you've done. You know, you wouldn't be up here on the, um, in agony, uh, you know, with this crucifixion, if you hadn't done all those terrible things. Jesus Christ did not do that, right? He said, from this day forward, you will be with me in heaven. I love that. So I say this to you because I want you to see that even this criminal was forgiven, right? Jesus Christ didn't care about what the guy had done previous, why he was hanging up there. He didn't care. Just the fact that that man, that criminal, recognized Jesus as who he really was, that's all that mattered, see. So if this message speaks to you, and I hope it does, just remember, it doesn't matter. You might have made small mistakes, small um, uh, committed small sins. You might have committed big sins. It does not matter, okay? Jesus Christ does not care if you've committed some big crimes, okay? Big sins. He doesn't care. All he wants us to do is go to him and ask, uh, ask him to forgive us. So, like I said, um, I thought of uh, speaking to you on this because, you know, I, I'm just as guilty as anybody. I've done my share of terrible things. I've said things, done things, thought things that were not Christ-like. But what I do when I catch myself, I always humble myself and ask God to forgive me. And I say it with a humble and true heart. So don't think that you are not worthy of being loved by God or being forgiven by God, okay? So, I hope this touched your heart in some way. You know, I, I didn't know what kind of video to post today, and I had thoughts of doing something else. But God, ever since this morning, actually it started last night because I read something that triggered this thought. And this morning when I woke up, it was still there. And I just felt like God was telling me, this is the subject I want you to talk about. And listen, I'm not very good at presenting messages like this okay I prefer 
when I'm interviewing other people. But I'm not all that crazy about having the camera turned on me and me talking. But God chose me to deliver this message. And um, see, Jesus Christ sees our heart. Okay? And so don't ever feel that you're not good enough to be used by Christ. All right? Or to be forgiven by Christ. Look at his apostles look at the men that he hand picked to be part of his ministry they were not the best of men right um they did their share of bad things but jesus christ god jesus christ was looking at their heart and he he knew that they had it in them to do the work of Christ. And listen, you cannot have an encounter with Jesus Christ and not be changed. There's no way. Because when you have an encounter with Jesus Christ, something happens to you. And you just cannot go back to the way you were before. So I hope you got some benefit out of this little video. I hope it inspired you in some way. If you feel you've been holding on to something that uh, has kept you from going to Christ, Put your barriers down, okay? And just go before Christ. And just, all you have to do is say, I'm sorry. That's it. <laughs> and all your sins will be forgiven, right? The slate will be clean. Uh, so, we never know, okay? when we will be giving our last breath here on earth, when our eyes will close for the last time. So be right with God, okay? So that when that day comes, you can go before Christ and have that glorious, wonderful encounter where Christ will say to you, Welcome, my faithful servant. Come in. All right. Okay, sweetie, thank you for stopping by and visiting our little channel. We are a nonprofit homeless ministry. Check out our website, okay? We're also on Facebook. And um, just remember, above everything else that I've said, I want you to know, okay, that God loves you so, so very much. How much? That's how much. Okay. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Come back and visit with us, okay? Have a safe week. And may you always stay blessed, okay? Bye-bye.